talking about this ancient Southwest Explorer series. And mm -hmm. uh, if you could just give a little reflection on your experience this last trip, and we want to put together this gathering. Mm -hmm. could, could you share what, how that would look to you or what you're visualizing? Well, my experience uh, in Sedona, uh, in Arizona, in California, California desert, but particularly here in, in Arizona, is apart from the beautiful landscape that we have, the, this, this cathedrals, natural cathedrals of stone, red stone, um, I was very impressed with the purification of, um, of petroglyphs. Uh, it's all preliminary to me at the moment, but there's no doubt in my mind that, uh, uh, I'm sh again, I'm sure that uh, astronomers and archaeoastronomers and archaeologists have worked on this, but I would like to get more involved with this, uh, mainly because I suspect, uh, like all ancient cultures, but particularly here, because it's so, um, it's so inviting to look at the sky at night, uh, beautiful bright skies, dry weather. Uh, one would expect a very developed sky religion, uh, very similar to other sky religions that we find particularly in Egypt. So I'd like to, to, to get more involved with this. Um, I think it's the ideal place to uh, bring uh, together uh, again, because uh, what I have in mind is that we managed to create a, uh, a group of researchers. Uh, the team, loose team, has increased. We have other researchers and people with much more solid uh, research uh, or other heavy scientific research like Chandra Vikrama Singh and uh, uh, perhaps other theoretical physicists. Uh, to, to join the, um, the ancient traditions, what we call the ancient traditions of sky religions or sky cults, uh, sky cosmologies, and with modern thinking, with quantum mechanics and, uh, and the latest cutting-edge sciences. Because I believe that in, somehow we can understand the ancients better. We can find um, perhaps the way that, that we see it at the moment very mysterious. We can't explain, for example, how they lifted stone. We can't explain what, what they really meant about uh, rebirth and the stars and so forth. Perhaps quantum mechanics, the new physics, may may add uh, and elucidate us more. So that's the idea, is to have a, a major conference with the heavyweights. Uh, Sedona is the ideal place, it's a beautiful place for this. Uh, I, I have in mind, we discussed it together uh, earlier, to bring it, uh, well, the, the, the ones that certainly will come, will, uh, the newcomers in the team will be Chandra Vikram Singh, the professor of astrobiology. He's, he's perhaps uh, the most exciting newcomer because he's coming with 60 years of uh, heavyweight experience in, the, in physics and astrophysics and cosmology and, and all these uh, cutting-edge sciences. You know, ultimately, we need to know where we come from. We need to know what the hell we're doing here. What's the purpose of life and our existence on this planet? And we need to know what happens to us after death. There you are. So these are the, the huge questions. And we need to know if there is uh, if we're not alone, if there is other civilizations, other, other life out there that we uh, should work to try and, and find out and communicate with. So these are the big, big questions. This is very preliminary for me here. It's my second visit in Arizona and I don't want to be very specific yet about what uh, the various tribes, the Hopis and other tribes uh, believed in and what were the rituals and so forth. But the funny thing about uh, saying they were far away, yes, there are huge distances that separate cultures like the ancient Egyptians and the Americas and uh, the South American cultures, the Chinese, the Japanese and so forth. But one thing they have in common is the sky. They all look at the same sky. And uh, <coughs> surprisingly, they, they, uh, which I think we will find here, uh, and I have already uh, read, at least in the work that Graham did, with the Hopis, for example, that uh, we'll find the same ideologies, we'll find the same belief systems uh, linked to this Orion constellation. There is something there. The question is whether it is pure ideologies based on superstition or whether there is something to do with the way that they were able to communicate and get knowledge uh, that has something more substantial, that there is a, a real connection with these stars, that there is some, 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 some co communication that took place. Uh, <clears throat> I'm convinced that uh, the ancients were able to uh, 
exploit or utilize or prime or tune, use the word you like, their minds into uh, a different uh, way of communicating, not just with themselves, but perhaps with the cosmos. Uh, at least that's what they tell us. Uh, we find this in all ancient texts. And perhaps they, they knew something that, uh, that we are trying to discover through, uh, through, phys through science. Perhaps they were able to access it with their own mind. So that is my, my main interest in all this. Great. Thank you, Robert. We look forward to uh, fleshing this pleasure. out and, and see what timing we can come up with. A pleasure.